Welcome back Graphic Extras. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add multiple strokes to a path in Photoshop. Now if you use an illustrator it would be very easy to add multiple paths, you just use the appearance palette. Uh, unfortunately it doesn't seem to be a feature like the appearance palette and it would be a wonderful feature in Photoshop if that was added but sad to say you can't. So uh, there, but there is a way around adding multiple strokes and I'm just going to quickly go to I've just created a path here a shape notice it says shape there and if you go to the layer layer style and you can add a stroke and I'm going to use gradients in this so the, there's the gradient I'm just going to resize it slightly so you can see the gradient and the gradients I'm using are from graphic extras it's a 32,000 um, gradients pack all created by graphic extras um, but okay so I've initially got this gradient and you can see that one there the one trouble adding multiple gradients is that the uh, uh, the path sort of loses its shape after a few but uh, I'm just gonna just quickly show you shape burst option click OK and the way to create multiple shapes strokes is go via to the layer smart objects convert to smart object so once you've done that you can now go back to the layer layer star and you can add a new stroke and I'm just going to increase the size so you can see the new stroke it's just around there and again gradient and this time I'm just going to go for another gradient here just one of these ones so you can just see and that's another gradient and I could continue doing this for uh, and I'm just going to quickly do that I'm just going to go layer smart objects convert to smart object and then a layer layer style stroke and resize again gradient Just select another one like I said, there's 32 different uh, thousand different uh, gradients files because there are also many other gradient files available on the web. So anyway, that's a quick way of creating multiple gradients strokes in Photoshop. Only trouble with, as I said, is that the uh, design starts to get fairly deformed at some point. You can see some slight kinks in the thing. So if there ever is an appearance palette, hopefully that sort of issue will be resolved in Photoshop, but that may be for some future release. But anyway, if you want to find some gradients, go to graphicextras.com.